Okay, 100 years ago, the world was struck by a deadly flu virus. And MTN's John Amy tells us about the losses and the sacrifices that were made in Butte during that devastating outbreak. A deadly flu pandemic spread across the world in 1918. Even Butte, Montana was not immune. Over a thousand people died here from the flu and um, thousands more were sick with the flu. First cases of the deadly virus in Butte, then the largest city in Montana, were first reported in early October. And then it spread like it just it just like a great blaze uh, with hundreds of new cases every day. The subject of the 100th anniversary of the pandemic, which killed millions of people worldwide, will be the subject of a lecture November 8th at Montana Tech that will include Dr. John Pullman talking about how this incredibly devastating flu remains such a mystery today. How did it become so virulent? We know the mechanisms of how it reproduces itself, but they're still teasing apart why that virus in particular was so good at spreading through the population. There are many stories of heroism as common folks in Butte treated the sick and the dying. There are stories of, of, uh, of a nurse coming to work in the morning, not feeling well by lunchtime, being sent home in the afternoon and being dead in the evening, completely sacrificing her life, you know, for the, uh, uh, the care of her, of her patient. Irish immigrant and priest, Father Patrick Brosnian, cared for the sick until he suddenly became sick himself. Uh, it was a devastating illness and took his life just in a few days. You can bear witness to this century-old tragedy today by just visiting the Holy Cross Cemetery, where here in this small section, more than 80 people are buried, victims of the pandemic, like the headstone of Daniel A. Sheedy Sr., who's buried alongside his eight-year-old son. Both died on the same day. Like all great stories of Butte, it's a mixture of, of some stories of great sadness, but stories of great love, stories of great self-sacrifice. Sacrifices made 100 years ago. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News. Now, for those who would like to learn a little bit more about this story, can attend the lecture on November 8th at the Montana Tech Library Auditorium at 7 o'clock in the evening. The event is free and open to the public.